Canisian vulgare, better known as the common tansy, bitter buttons, cow bitters, or golden buttons. This plant is an herbaceous flowering perennial within the aster family, native to temperate Europe and Asia. You can also see this flower in many other parts of the world, specifically North America, for it has become highly invasive. The tansy is highly identifiable by its finely divided compound leaves and yellow button-like flowers. It is stout with a somewhat reddish erect stem, usually smooth and very tall. The leaves are alternate on the stem and are long, pinnately lobed, divided along the center into seven pairs and once again, lobed and divided into even smaller lobes, usually into sawed tooth edges, making it look very fern-like in its appearance. The stem usually terminates at the top in an umbel of flowers. The yellow flower heads can be seen in clusters from mid to late summer. The scent is similar to that of camphor and hints of rosemary. Unlike rosemary, the leaves and flowers are toxic, especially when consumed in large quantities. The plant also produces a volatile oil containing toxic compounds. These compounds are known to cause convulsions as well as liver and brain damage. Several insects have a resistance to these toxins, including the tansy beetle. Although this plant has a global reach now, it is notably absent from Siberia and parts of Mediterranean islands. It is believed that the ancient Greeks have cultivated it as a medical herb, and in the 16th century it was considered a necessary for a garden in Britain. Additionally, the plant was used in Swiss monasteries of St. Gall, once again for its medical purposes. Although toxic, it was used to help intestinal worms, rheumatism, digestive problems, fevers, sores, and burning out measles. In an additionally grim twist, this very pretty flower was used in the Middle Ages to induce abortions. In an unusual twist, it was also used at the same time to help women conceive and prevent miscarriages. More recently, in the 19th century, Irish folklore suggested that bathing in a solution of tansy and salts would cure joint pain, and it was often used as a face wash to restore and lighten, even purify the skin. Although its use in medicine is quite skeptical, it is very useful in insect repellents and is cultivated to this day for that purpose. Additionally, it has a very long history of being buried and used in funeral rites, oftentimes as either an embalming agent or in a ceremony with tansy wreaths often being placed on the dead. This frequent use at burials has more rightfully made it a symbol of death, which is more befitting of its toxic nature. The symbol for the flower, if given to another person, is often a declaration of war. It is seen as a symbol of immortality and hatred and resistance. It is derived from the Greek word for deathless. To this day, the tansy is used for more than just its beauty within gardens. It is used in companion planting for biological pest control. Often it is planted alongside potato crops to repel the Colorado potato beetle. It is often found that this can reduce the population of those beetles by 60 to even 100 percent. Ironically enough, although fairly toxic, the tansy has a very pleasant taste and is recommended in sweet meats within Yorkshire to this day, often complemented with caraway seeds and used frequently within puddings and oatmeals within cork. This plant is even used within mixology and is often a substitute for sage. Sometimes people will mix it with Jack Daniels and enjoy it with some sugar and crushed tansy leaf. There are even some reports of uses among the Native Americans. The Cherokee used an infusion of the plant for backaches and also wore a wreath around their waist to prevent miscarriages. The Cheyenne used an infusion of the leaves and blossoms for dizziness and weakness. More common modern uses are used for its coloration, often in floral arrangements or for traditional dyes. Golden yellow colors come very well from this flower. Beekeepers also use dried tansy within their bee smokers as a fuel source to keep the bees calm while they do their work. 
Lastly, it is mostly a companion plant used for cucurbits, often cucumbers and squashes, or even roses and various berries. It is believed to repel ants, cucumber beetles, Japanese beetles, squash bugs, and other kinds of flying insects. The tansy is also commonly used within witchcraft, used for longevity spells, health magic, spirit work, or even ancestral veneration. It is often associated with feminine and water energy, and is always used within health and longevity spells. Dried tansy herb is often used in egg dishes for ostra, and for those that celebrate in blanc, it is also used within dairy dishes. I hope this little trip through understanding tansies was somewhat entertaining for you. Thank you for joining me in my curiosity. Bye!